On this episode of the Atlanta Maker, we save some time by using combination whiteboard blackboard from Home Depot. If you make items with a Glowforge that need to be painted black or white, you can save yourself some time and use some of these project panels from Home Depot. They are 3 16 of an inch thick and come in 4 foot by 2 foot panels with a black chalkboard on one side and a white marker board on the other with an MDF core. If you are lucky enough to have a willing Home Depot and you are there when it's not too busy, they may be able to cut it down into Glowforge size sheets for you. I chose to have them cut it down into four 12 by 18 inch sheets and two 12 by 12 inch sheets per project panel. I had them stack several panels together so they could cut multiple panels in a single pass and that made quick work of the five sheets I bought. If you cut the horizontal cut first, you can cut a set of boards with just three cuts. That means for right around $25, I got this stack of Glowforge size material, which contained 20 12 by 18 inch sheets and 10 12 by 12 inch sheets. Some have had success cutting this material without masking and just using a baby wipe to wipe off the scorch marks. But I generally still mask at least the presentation side just to make cleanup easier. These work great for items such as these customizable name rounds or even holiday items like this Christmas candle display. I also use this material in an upcoming project video where I make a dry erase board to keep track of various things around the house. As with any new material, you'll want to run a quick test circle or square to check these settings. But here is what I found that worked well for me with my Glowforge Plus 40 watt machine. For cutting, speed 135 and full power. For a brown engraving, speed 1000, power 60, and an LPI of 270. For a black engraving, speed 1000, power 80, and an LPI of 270. Well that's it for today. Let me know in the comments what you would use this material to make with your Glowforge. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. See you next time.